Today we will do something like that. It's not a very good video, of course, very good simulation, but very simple. Just I want to show you uh, the main idea of doing the water fluid simulation. We will use Manta Flow fluid simulation. So let's start. Today I want to show you uh, how to make a fluid simulation via the uh, Manta Flow. This is a little bit different than the usual Blender fluid simulation which is here I mean here and this is Mantaflow Blender this is a normal Blender first of all I want to show you how to download it decide with the website link is here I will give it to you give it to you in the video description here you, you can download it so after you download it you will see that this is a little bit different than the usual Blender uh, fluid and smoke simulation uh, in the Mantaflow Blender, this is uh, the fluid simulation and the smoke simulation is at the same places, and here is the different places. So let's begin to the Mantaflow simulation. First of all, I want to apologize to you that my English is not good enough and fluent enough to give everything very clear. So I will tr give, try to give you know, all my effort. As it is in all kind of uh, fluid or simulation, first of all, you will, you have to choose your domain or flow or inflow or outflow. This is usual, as in all other uh, kind of uh, baking systems. You have to choose domain, and then you will choose your other settings. First of all, we will press the fluid. This, there are other kind of fluid here. This is another kind of add-on here. Uh, this is with money, but the Manta Flow simulation is free and as good as Fully Fluid. But I will, sh may I might show you Fully Fluid later on to you. So we will choose uh, Manta Flow simulation. That's why we will have to press here the Fluid section here. So here we will choose Flow settings, and then coming here and then pressing Liquid again, and there are other kind of inflow outflow geometry settings here as you see here there are other kind of fire smoke fire or smoke we call the smoke smoke settings inside of the fluid Manta flow made it like that that's why we will come and choose here liquid because we will make the liquid or uh, water simulation so here another other kind of inflow outflow and geometry settings if you like it like a continuously flowing you can choose for example inflow here so we will set it as geometry now. So let's add our domain. We will add simply by clicking Shift A. We will add another kind of cube and press S to size it a little bit more. And then pressing Fluid again and then choose Domain to make it dom domain to set as domain. So press Guess. We will not make it Guess because we will do it liquid. So we have to choose liquid and then clicking the cube again to make it higher than the normal to get better uh, simulation so there are three kind of three phases in Manta flow simulation one for the baking data it will bake the mechanism of simulation and then we will bake the mesh and then the particles this is a good uh, thing to do because uh, after baking data if you don't like the uh, way of uh, simulating the fluid we can change it at the beginning if you don't if you like we can pass through the mesh creating mesh and then we will try to handle it later on so uh, there are as i said there are three kind of phases here one for fluid and the second one is mesh and the third one is particle so let's change it a little bit more. I want to make a uh, simulation a bit faster. That's why I will increase it to five here. I will not change the resolution. Uh, after I like it uh, for the final result uh, baking, I can change it like 20, uh, 128 or increase it much more. So for, for the first uh, starting, it's enough for our simulation. So here we can increase it a bit particle system here to get more like a flippy and pressing show flip and then we can bake it. I will stop uh, the baking after until it's finished. Yes, the baking is finished now. 
is not more than a couple of minutes so here as we see if you play it you will see that it will finish here 50 because we didn't change it from here like the frame will start from the first frame to the 50 frame here 50th frame and of course for the starting point you shouldn't change it much more because maybe you will change the other settings and you shouldn't wait too much for baking after you uh, arrange all your all of your things you can change it at the end of your uh, simulation and you can increase it from here from the cage so as you see the data is completed like that and then we will come here first of all I want to show you if it's continue yes it's continue I want to show you that how to create mesh here you will click here just clicking here and you will not change anything and of course you can tweak it by yourself increasing or decreasing it to see what is this or what is for so I will just bake it from here so it will also continue to the 50th frame and then I will pause the video until it's finished and then come back again now it's finished it as you see the, as a wireframe mode you will see the mesh here it's like that of course and uh, what we will do now uh, to give it a little bit shading to our mesh to show you the in a better view you will come here and sh pressing the shading editor press N to get rid of this uh, section here pressing new here we can see uh, our shading node editor first of all I want to change the view for settings here to this mesh so this was wireframe mode to the solid view so you can see it here pressing look there to see how it look like so come here make it a little bit brighter and then not change I will decrease it to the zero to roughness and then transmission to the highest point and I will change I O R value to the one three three now it's like that something like that and you if you see here there's a little bit rocky like so change it to shade smooth yes it's better and we will change it some settings from here so subsurface scattering pressing here and then refraction here and coming here and pressing screen space reflection here it's a couple of settings from here and a couple of settings here so we will not change anything else as you see it's a lot water like because we didn't arrange the environment if you, you cannot see anything from here so I will recommend you from doing all of them here so there are not environment settings here over there in the render settings you will not see you will not make them so here so the third part here as I said to you is the particle settings I will press spray foam and bubble all of them just increase it here a little bit more to like 500 I will not change anything else you can tweak it by yourself to see which is better for you so let's bake it and then I will pause again and then return back again now we have baked particle settings here now all of them are now baked now we will give uh, the particle will arrange the particle mesh now it's like hello you can see here from here and that, that means we will not see anything in the render view settings press here you will see nothing here first of all we have to change from here from wire solid view and coming here and pressing here what we will see in the render settings just see only fluid not the particles so we have to arrange the particle settings first of all So these are the particles which are above but we are not able to see in the render settings uh, here we will see them so first of all I want you to add you can add also cube uh, now today we will add only the uh, icosphere and then we will decrease it subdivision and let's arrange it a basic shading smooth here and I will give it a simple settings from here 
I will increase its brightness and then I will not change its roughness also the transmission I will give it a little bit emission from here nothing as I will do so here when we come to here I mean we have to choose from here and then coming to the particle settings here as you see the hollow from hollow we can change it to object mode and then we will choose the object by clicking here or you can just click here and choose from here and then from the form again changing object and then choosing from here and from bubble same thing choosing object and icosphere changed oh, sorry it didn't change choose the icosphere from here Again, now it choose back here. Yes, we have chosen all the time the domain, not the uh, icosphere. Yes, like that. Now pressing only render settings here, you will see the particles. <laughs> now, for now, it's very huge. We should decrease its size from here. To make it look much more better, so, like here. Now we drop the particles like that. This was just a simple way of showing you with the month of flow. You can tweak all of the uh, settings, all of the other settings to change it accordingly as you wish. You can tweak it and this is the only way of showing you uh, the simple way in a simple way i just wanted to show you the simple way of giving it thank you very much for listening to me as i said my english very very bad and also this is the my uh, first tutorial so i'm apologizing you again i hope it will help you about doing your fluids uh, simulation later on and if you like it uh, let me know uh, to give it more uh, tutorial to you. Uh, that's all.